Are you a believer that atheists are treated fairly? All Karim Albana wants to do is leave Egypt. The 23-year-old engineering student is facing three years in prison for believing in nothing. Albana is an atheist who is facing charges for insulting Islam with his atheism. He told AFP, All I want now is to leave Egypt. Life is not possible for atheists here. Between 2011 and 2013, 42 defendants faced with the same charges were ruled guilty. All right, so I've done a ton of stories on atheists, and we've talked, obviously, many, many times about atheism. You are my number one atheist, so you must Yay. represent all atheists. Kara Santa Maria is going to be pissed. You're, you're, <laughs> you're right there, 101A. Um, I feel like atheists are under attack in a different way in the last like year or so. A lot in the United States, but of course all over the world. Right. What, what is people's problems with atheists? Um, they take it as a personal insult if you don't agree with them on this particular subject. <laughs> and that's exactly what's happening to this guy. You know, he's an atheist and they're saying that that is an insult to Islam. Right. Uh, but what about that whole tolerance with religion thing? Yeah, that's supposed to be a thing, right? Yeah. And the thing is, is it's against any of the three major Abrahamic religions. It's Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. Yeah. So if you were a Christian over there, it wouldn't be an insult. But being an atheist, well, you have to believe in something. So if you don't believe in anything, that's somehow... Oh, that's, a, that's an interesting take. So, it, right, to be an atheist would be the equivalent of being just some other religion, too. Right. So you should be equally mad at that. Right. But they aren't. But they're not. If you, they, it's almost like if you have something, it's better than nothing. Because at least you're a part of a group similar to mine. Yeah. I mean, what, what do you think? I feel like atheists are just constantly under attack. I see this in the media all the time, on yeah. Twitter all the time. People are always attacking new atheists, which I think is so weird because atheists generally pretty good people, not doing yeah. a lot. They're not, they're not having a lot of rallies, right. stoking up the hatred. <laughs> right. No, I, but I think I think like similar to what she said. I think that you know people feel personally attacked because it's removing people's kind of last ditch effort at hope at like this possibility that there's something else. It's like, they don't want that possibility to be taken away from them. So it, it angers them, you know, it and they take it very personally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know we did a story on this also, which we'll annotate above, but can you explain the difference between atheist, give me some basic definitions mm -hmm. of atheist and theist and agnostic. Can you give me a little something here? Because people always, yeah. oh, every time we do with something on this, people start arguing about just actually what the words mean. Right, and that's very frustrating for me too because a lot of people think that being an atheist means that you know there is no God, absolutely 100% sure, certain. And you have to say uh, it like you that, have right? To, you yes, have to. and you have to be very <laughs> angry about it always. Yeah. Um, but that's not what it means at all. It just means that you don't believe in God. And it doesn't mean that you know anything because that's what agnostic is. That's where that comes in. Because gnostic, the root of that word is just, it means knowledge. So to have, to be agnostic means you don't have knowledge of something. So I can say that I'm agnostic because I don't have knowledge of whether or not there's a God, but I'm also an atheist. So it's agnostic atheist. So you're an agnostic, agnostic atheist because you acknowledge you don't know. And then right. through that not knowing, you're saying you don't believe. Right. And I feel like everyone should technically say that they're agnostic. Yeah, that's, that's I was like going to ask you, do yeah. most atheists call themselves agnostic atheists. Yes, most, they do. I mean, that I talk to. Yeah, yeah. I would hope. Yeah. Why can't we get more tolerance out of religion? Uh, every religion. Why is it, I, not just about the atheism thing, but in general, why, you know, religion's supposed to be tolerant, and yet we see so much war and hatred and whatever, always fermented I mean, religion. because since the beginning of time, we've used religion as a scapegoat for a barrage of other things, whether it be power or money or fear or things like that, you know, it's just used as a tool. So I, I, I don't think that, um, you know, I, I just feel like being, like I said before, saying you're an atheist removes that power to control and that power to have that tool that's been used since the beginning of time. Yeah. Is this the weird thing about social media and Facebook and all that? Like on one hand, it's like freeing us all and it created the Arab Spring and like has literally taken down governments, so it's amazing what it's done in that part of the world. And then on the other hand, now we're seeing the backlash to it, which is that this guy in Egypt, yeah. Egypt, an ally of ours, they get the second most aid of any country in the world from the United States, is being persecuted for atheism. So it's a double-edged sword with social media too, right? Yeah, I mean, it can be, and it's just, it's unfortunate that in his situation, he's in a country that's not accepting of that. Yeah. Uh, but overall, I feel like it's important to have social media because we can, you know, make positive change through it. Yeah. Do atheists need to be more outraged? Like, you're being very calm okay. right now. This is one of your I'm used people, to seeing, right? Like, I mean, being attacked. Is, yeah, this is not uncommon. Yeah. I mean, I hear stuff like this all of the time. 
Yeah. So, I mean, as much as it does make me mad and angry, it's just like one more thing, you know, telling me and everyone else that's an that is an atheist that you're not okay, that you're not normal, that you're somehow insulting other so people. So you're like, you're almost like over the outrage. That's what I said. I mean, like, yeah, I've calmed down a lot. Whenever I first started doing videos on YouTube, I was like, grr, very angry and yeah. cussing. But now I'm a little bit more like, okay. I've been talking about this for like four years now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like what's new? Yeah, Whitney, I feel like we need to play a game like how to piss off an atheist. I know, what, let's do it now. Should we like nudge her or like <laughs> something, something? This is a sam we're sandwiching you with our belief system. <laughs> no, the thing is that it's an impossible battle to win because there's just no proof in any direction. So right. it's just, we can sit here and just be, it's maddening, you know? We can just like lose our minds over it. So there's really nothing you can do. Yeah. Is there nothing you can do? I know one thing you can do, you can comment right down below.